His speech at the World Economic Forum in Davos in 2017, President Xi Jinping called for joint efforts to advance economic globalization. No matter how difficult it is, it is impossible to stop the pace of human progress. When encountering difficulties, don't blame yourself or others. Don't give up confidence nor evade responsibility. Just work together to overcome difficulties. The appeal has been echoed widely and repeatedly, especially when the world is faced with daunting challenges, such as the coronavirus pandemic. Uh, President Xi underlined the importance of global cooperation and multilateralism and that we are in a win-win world and not a zero-sum. Uh, so when we trade with each other, it will also create jobs, it will also create additional uh, growth. China has been keen to point out didn't develop alone. The China-Myanmar oil and gas pipeline project is seen by many as an international model of mutual benefit and in cooperation. During the pandemic, this pilot project under the China-proposed Belt and Road Initiative has provided jobs and opportunities for social development in Myanmar. The China-Myanmar oil and gas pipeline project fully reflects the coordination, linkage, fairness and inclusiveness proposed by President Xi at Davos. The project can not only provide energy for China, but is also conducive to Myanmar's development. And China is not only a beneficiary of economic globalization, but also a contributor. Over the past four years, the number of pilot free trade zones in China has increased to 21, while its International Import Expo is getting more and more popular. Furthermore, China and Europe saw more than 12,000 freight train trips in 2020. Many saw these services as live channels in the joint effort against the pandemic. From China to Europe, from China to which is uh, currently at this moment 100 percent booked. Um, as we speak about January, there's no possibility to book a train, so uh, the traffic is very busy right now. The first China-Europe freight train in 2021 has arrived in the Eastern Europe Transfer Center in Poland. But much more is expected to be delivered from China, not just to Europe, but all over the world. Chuck Tinta, CGTN.